restrains hunger protesters in Ogun State. Minister of Transport launches Ogun State e-mobility program, urges state governors to emulate Ogun State initiative. Plus, NEMA reviews flawed situations, moved about more losses. Hello, good evening, and thank you for joining us on Channel 12 News at 7. I'm Yemi Dalimo. And Ogun State High Court, sitting in Abelkuta, has ordered the sponsors of the End Bad Government in Nigeria protest to limit their activity to four locations in the state. The court also restricted the time frame of the protest from between 3 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., granting an application moved by the State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice. Oluwashino Ogunbade SAN Justice Ogunfora directed that all protests under the End Bad Governance in Nigeria slogan or any other slogan from 1st August 2024 to 10th August 2024 must be limited in place and time. The judge prohibited their pro the judge prohibited the protesters from protesting anywhere in the state except at the MKU Stadium Abelkuta and Sarudin Comprehensive High School Ota, Remo Divisional High School Shagamu and Dikpo Dino Stadium Ijebode. The Attorney General explained that the four locations are across the four divisions of the state in the three senatorial districts, allowing protesters in those vicinities to conveniently participate in the protest under adequate protection and without infringing on the right of any non-protesting members of the public. The judge in his ruling also prohibited any protest from taking place outside the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. The judge further directed the Commissioner of Police in Ogun State to enforce the order and ensure that the protests are held only in the specified location and during the time period slated in the order. Still talking the protest, the Nigeria First Lady Oluremi Tinumbu has appealed to youths planning to embark on hunger protests in the country to reconsider their position, noting that violent protests at this time have the potential to halt the country's stride towards recovery. She made the appeal on the sidelines of the third quarter meetings of the state coordinators in her office in Abuja. And similarly, religious leaders in Abelkuta have equally appealed to youth to see reasons with the government, the federal and state government, and share the planned protests in the interest of peace and progress of the nation. Religious leaders spoke, gave this advice while speaking with Anolua Poilori in Abelkuta. And in preparation towards the protest, the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Ogun State Command, says it is re strategizing ahead of the planned nationwide protest come 1st August 2024 to curtail unforeseen circumstances. The Commandant NSCDC, Ogun State Command, David Ojelabi, gave the assurance in Abeokuta. Akim Jimo reports. Men and officers of Ogun State Command brainstormed on modern strategies and techniques to deploy in curtailing the planned nationwide protest to prevent hoodlums from hijacking it. Ogun State Commandant of the Corps, David Idowu Ojelabi, notes that the command is deploying its manpower and technical know how to effectively protect critical national infrastructure, including correctional centers across the state. It is our statutory mandate to protect Nigerians and this we will do with all sense of discipline, professionalism, commitment, and of, of course, foot right. And for us, the officers, I want to encourage all of us to approach the protests with necessary r which is responsibility to protest. They are in mind that we are all citizens. So wearing the uniform is a privilege and we must not in any way oppress, suppress, intimidate anybody. While re-emphasizing the need 
for renewed collaboration among other sister security agencies in the fight against crimes and criminalities, the commandant assured that men and officers of the command are committed professionals working to win the war against crimes and criminalities in the society. In Abelkuta, Akim Jimo, NTA News. And now to parliamentary story, the Ogun State House of Assembly has passed a bill to enhance rural and semi-urban development and ensure even development of the nooks and crannies of the state. The lawmakers, while passing the bill, note that the bill, when assented to by the governor, will address rural and urban migration, among other advantages. Correspondent reports that the Speaker of the House also lend the lawmakers' voice to urging the youth against the nationwide protests. The passage of the bill followed the presentation by the Committee on Rural Development, which was later read and adopted clause by clause before the Committee of the Whole House and passed through the third reading, after which the Whole House unanimously supported the passage through a voice vote. Sponsor of the bill, Patunde Teller, explained the advantages of the bill to include curbing rural urban migration, ensuring even development at the grassroots, provision of basic social amenities, and crime reduction, among others. To ensure rural integration, promote even development in rural and urban areas of the state. The bill to be forwarded to His Excellency Madam for his assent. The lawmakers at plenary also joined other well-meaning Nigerians to appeal to Nigerian youths to avoid acts inimical to the peace and tranquility being enjoyed in the state and the country at large. The speaker, Oluda C. Elemide, urged the youth to continue to engage government through meaningful dialogue, especially on the high rate of inflation affecting the citizenry. Section 44 of the same constitution, which also says and enshrines the rights of free movement, that is, nobody has the right to debar or stop anybody from moving or going about their lawful businesses within the we are only pleading for our youth to do things with decorum. We are pleading to them, if possible, not to embark on the strike. But if they are on the protest, but if they must do that, they should be mindful. Yes, they are claiming fundamental human rights for the protest. But in the course of, in the principle of fundamental right, your right stops where my own begins. The House rounded off the mid-year assessment of the performance of the various MDAs in the state with a charge on them to redouble their efforts at delivering qualitative dividends of democracy to the citizens of the state. In the meantime, the federal government is appealing to the state government to prioritize employment generation, economic empowerment, and wealth creation to reduce poverty and make life more meaningful to, the, to Nigerians. Minister of Transportation Saidu Ahmed Alkali made the appeal at the launching of the second phase e-mobility program of the Ogun State Government in Abelkuta. Akin Jimo reports. It is my singular honor and privilege mission the e-bike to the benefit of the entire people. That was the inauguration of over 2,000 electric motorcycles and tricycles under the second phase of e-mobility program of Ogun State Government. The Minister of Transportation, Seydou Hamed Alkali, commended the Ogun State Government for the milestone achievement in the transport sector and urged other state governments to emulate Ogun State in the quest to transit from the use of petrol to a more environmentally friendly energy being championed by the federal government. It is essential to note that this program is launched at no better time than now a recognition of the need to devise alternative mobility technology 
that will ease transportation difficulties, reduce emission of hazardous and toxic combustion products. Ogun State Governor Taku Abiodun says his administration is committed to mitigating the effect of fuel subsidy removal on the people through employment generation and wealth creation. But creating jobs, stimulating local economies, and ensuring that our youth have the access to skills that will be in the future and guarantee their job potential. We are investing in the talent of tomorrow and building a workforce that is ready to embrace the challenges and opportunities of a rapidly changing world. Goodwill messages centered on the need for stakeholders to key into the federal government transition to renewable energy programs in driving the nation's economy. In Abel Kuta, Akim Jimo, NTA News. It's time to pay some bills. The news will continue shortly after this time. Welcome to a world of classical packaging at Shanghai. Our safe and hygiene dustbin ranging from the small closet bin sizes to large rollable industrial and community bin sizes. Decked with perfect functioning pedals, our paint containers are carefully prepared for their global journey, always prioritizing your safety every step of the way. Our array of various Tampa event plastic paint containers are the industry's number one, making them the most sought after choice proudly in Nigeria. Aha! Did they Bro, I did tell you, this man is a row. Huh? If I win you, something will come out. Don't play with me. Fast ball, fast ball. Ah. You know what you don't start Bro. Me. Now we got this man. Keep the banter going. Glow. Borrow me credit and data. Dial star 303 hash to borrow airtime or data and pay later. Is that ready? Go on, go on. Only one thing I did is okay. Power your relentless ambition with ultra high speed data. Glow unlimited. We thank you for being there. In view of the rising cases of flood incidents across the country, the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, has convened a National Emergency Coordination Forum of stakeholders to review the situation and strengthen partnership towards the implementation of mitigating strategies and timely response. Director General NEMA, Zubaida Umar emphasized the need for all stakeholders to rise up to the challenge the 2024 flood devastation may pose in the country. And with that, we have come to the end of the news for tonight. We thank you for watching. Good night. <music>